will uh, create a switch on a boolean to show you how that works. So first off, we'll uh, drag in a sequence. So we'll search for sequence. We'll drag it in here. We could call that a switch boolean like this. Mm. Then we'll uh, double click on it and we're ready to um, perform that activity. Well, um, what this does, it we could uh, ask the user for uh, a word and then we could check if that word starts with an A and return a true or false value. So we'll drag in an input dialog here. Um, it could be, uh, the title could be starts with a vocal. There, um, a label could be like uh, enter word to see if it starts with, with an A like this. We will uh, store the result as a string because uh, the user will, so control K, the user will type in a string. So that will be str word. We'll change it down here to a string. And now we're ready to um, use the switch. You could say that um, we could have, uh, in this specific case, because it's either a yes or a no, we could have uh, chosen to use an if, and that might be a bit more easy. Well, I think it's about the same, and this one has, we could specify um, uh, here, and it will be a bit more easy to look at, but hey, that's just pref preferences. Um, so it's, so what we want to check if is that this word uh, starts with an A, and um, we'll have to um, write something in and that will be um, so we will um, type argument that will be a boolean and what this does is the, we will take the string word from up here like this and then we will use the vb command like and um, we have our word should start with an A and then we don't care what the rest is. So like this, and then we could have um, uh, cases. So let's say our default is um, when it uh, actually starts with an A. So we'll drag in a message box here. Here, um, the word and then the this one, the user word, starts with an A, like this. And then our um, case could be false because this one, up, this one up here was true. So when it doesn't start with an A, we'll drag in another message box saying that um, the word doesn't start with an A. And this should work. So we we'll can try to run it and type in some words and see what it does. Oh, well, we'll still run. What we forgot was um, we'll go out in the main and set this as a start node. So um, the actual uh, Sequence will run. Sorry for that. But I like these errors because that show you how to solve things. And well, this one is a common error that you forgot to run the actual workflow you're working on. Um, so we could type in ape. That starts with an A, so that should return the uh, true value, the default value. Yep, it does. Then we could run it again and type in lion for, or yeah, something like that. Lion and this, this doesn't stop an A and it actually worked. So this was an example of a switch on a, a true false Boolean um, thing. That's it for now. Have a good day. Bye-bye.